and welcome to Distance with Wax Buffalo. I'm Alicia Reisinger. Each week we jump on with a different creative and talk about how we're navigating this world of small biz and COVID and now uh, the holiday season. I'm really excited to introduce you to my friend Kelly Britton. She is an amazing maker. Um, her entire business is a side hustle because she's also a professor here at the university at Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, she's a riot. I feel like every time I'm with her, I just laugh until my tummy hurts. And so I've been really excited for this conversation just because I miss her, but also because I know that it will be really good for my soul. And I think it will be good for your soul too. So thanks for joining us. Hi, Kelly. It's so good to see you, girl. How are you? I'm so excited to see you on the Zoomies today. I know. <laughs> I don't even know the last time I saw you in real life. I know. Ever. I feel I feel like that's how I start every conversation. Like, remember when we used to hug in real life and we were friends? It was no. so- um, okay. So I was thinking about our origin story and we technically met through recruiting stuff. Like through ad club. Yeah. yeah. Through your like yeah. real life job. Mm-hmm. So because this all of Bright Spots is totally a side hustle for you, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So and- it's a nights and weekends. Yes. situation. Yep. Yeah. So talk about what you do in real life a little bit. Give us the Kelly background. Yeah. The Kelly background. Um, so full-time I'm a professor in the college of journalism and mass communications at UNL. And so I teach advertising courses, research, writing strategy. Um, I'm teaching one-on-one right now with a lot of freshmen that it's Holy so God. fun. Um, cause they're so eager and so excited. Um, and do lots of different things. So yeah, I'm the advisor for our ad club. Um, And so we bring in professionals in the community to teach students and work with students. And so every year it was like, Alicia, come back, Alicia, (laughs) come back. And I think I I was like the last two progressions of your children too, like you were pregnant. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. And then I think like one of them, I like, I think it was Ox was like literally like six or seven days old. And I was like, yeah, I'll come. (laughs) And then, oh yeah, because then you came to speak at summit and you like brought him you're like yeah. here's my yes, it was. baby <laughs> yes and he was so new I was like I have a picture of like I set him in the sink so I could pee it was like I guess I could have handed him to someone else <laughs> before I did this yeah yeah that's so right cool. you're right yeah, that's how we originally got connected by me just constantly begging you once you're like hey I love it it always fills my soul well, it was so good because it was so honest, mm. right? Like it was so real and not fla- flower coated, sugar coated, whatever yeah. we're or flour. Just depends on yeah. your time of cookie. Um, <laughs> of just like these are the things you absolutely should not do from yeah. things that we've seen in real life. So it was always yeah. so good. It was fun. Your like your team was always so sweet and kind, and I loved all the questions and also. Uh, speaking of your real life job, are you legit teaching a course on the Kardashians? Did yes. I- you have a question. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny because I literally have like right here my stack of books <laughs> for spring <laughs> because I love to keep things apparently on my kitchen counter very close to me. Is it yeah. about, yeah, tell me what is it? So it's, it's about keeping up with the Kardashian brand is the name of the class, but it's all about like celebrity and materialism and sexuality um as it relates to like influence um and branding but just really as it relates to like building a brand and so when you look at like the kardashian dynasty of a family it's like the kardashian brand but then you've got all the individuals and their influence and then all their products and just all of the chaos so take this course (laughs) i'm really excited about it it's a I had been talking about it for years. And so when I finally posted about it, all my former students were like, excuse me, like now you do it when I'm gone. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What's it called when you take a class, but you just sit in and you don't take it for credit? Audit. 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 Yes. When you, audit. I'm going to come yeah. off that class. <laughs> sure. I can like send you weekly, weekly reading lists and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I, would love to do that. I just think that would be such a fascinating class. It's so smart because you're right. It's like, uh, advertising has changed so much from like classical like agency cookie cutter this is how you you know you make an ad you do this blah 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 blah, blah. like I love that you're unpacking like oh actually this is this is marketing this is this is the ad world this is it's very cool it's very cool like what it looks like 
now. So it'll be, I hope it goes well. It's full. There's a waiting list. People are excited about it. So yes. just as long as I can deliver on it. I'm like, Alicia cares. My 45 friends are going to be auditing it. You'll like click into Zoom and there'll be like 37 other people just like. <laughs> okay. So not only are you this incredible badass professor living that I like I like every student that ever that I've ever met that has come into contact with you is just like I love like you are so loved but then you go on and like decide to build this like other beautiful amazing business so bright spots paper I think is just so fun it's so sassy it's full of your personality every part of it is so cool we carry it in the store obviously I'm obsessed with it. Um, will you talk about how like you even launched to begin with and what, like what even was it just like, Oh, I have this very full, I mean, cause you love your job, this very full, happy, wonderful life. I'm also going to start a side hustle. Where did it come from? Right. So I have loved paper goods like my entire life. Um, I am always that person that has just like a stack of cards, journals that I've never written in. Like, I want to be a journaler. I just, is that even a word journaler? Whatever. Yeah. But I, yeah, we're gonna say this. Um, <laughs> notebooks, everything has to be like aesthetic and matching. Um, and so for a long time, I just talked about it. Maybe someday I'll start a business or do something. Um, because I just have always felt so passionate about this idea of celebrating others. And so there were these kind of like three things that have always just rolled around in my mind. Um, and one of them, when I was in grad school, I was working with a student and we were just talking and he was like, you know, everybody just wants to have their day made. And I was like, yeah, that's like so true. Like we wake up every day and we're just looking for an opportunity to have our day made or somebody to make our day. Um, and then the second is I was raised by my grandparents. Like if you ever talk to me, like I'm probably going to talk about my grandparents. Um, and so they were 65 when I was born and I went straight to their house and um, they are just incredible people. My other grandma on the weekend and they loved letters. Like my one grandma was a sentimental pack rat. Like every letter or picture she ever got, she saved. I'm the same way. I have like totes in the basement of all of that. <laughs> um, but when my grandma passed away, my grandpa and I, I was driving him, you know, I was a chauffeur the, for the day. Um, and we got out of the church. And the first thing he said to me was, Kelly, I didn't appreciate her enough. And I was like, that is like the crux of again, like what we need to be doing as people is like, not just make their day, but appreciate people more, right? Because we all just want that. And we all deserve that. And then um, one day I was like, pinning, you know, you go in those like, situations on Pinterest where you start to just like spiral and pin some like real deep shit, you know, cause like it's life <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, the world can see your soul. Cause you're just in yeah. there and like, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, okay, Kelly's going through something right now. Like also she wants to be in her living room green. What? No. Like, <laughs> like oh, interesting. um, and so I, I must've been like in a rut or something. And then my friend Kelly, beautiful name. <laughs> Card with like unicorns it was like a unicorn on a rainbow with glitter and all of this stuff and it was just like I saw you were pinning some tough stuff on Pinterest I hope you're doing okay and like I hadn't really seen said it that at all yeah. and I was like okay this is like all of these things I've known to be true yeah. and then I just like kind of started talking about it um I was meeting with a business coach and she was like well, then that's, you know, she was like, if you could do anything in the world, what would it be? And I was like, I would have my own greeting card company. And, and she, then she made me start meeting with people and you were one of them, right? We met at Indigo Bridge. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I just remember being like, Alicia, what happens if I fail? Like, what if it doesn't work? And you're like, who cares? And I'm like, but if I fail, like this could be a whole in my life. And you're like, shut up. Who cares? Like, <laughs> <probably didn't laughs> shut up. <laughs> I was like, okay, what if I fail? Like who? at least I tried, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. um, it just was like, all right, I'm going to buy some stuff and work on some stuff and write some stuff. And we're just going to like try it. And so it's been a, a lot of fun these last two years. Sorry. It's you're never going to get a short answer from me. No, I yeah. love it. I love it. I remember <laughs> having that conversation with you too. And just like, you had ever, you were so much more organized than I ever was before Wax Buffalo. It's like, girl, I think you can just go ahead and start. Like, you're, yeah, yeah. And it's been so, like, so beautiful. And I guess it has been two whole years now, right? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Do you 
tell me a little bit about like your design process and how you even like, cause it's really fun. And like, how do you make the cards? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will say like, I'm a person that just is not big on labels, but I would not call myself a designer. But you are. Like, I feel like it's such an insult to those that are designers. Like who's this lady with some like words anyways. Um, so I just like keep, I always tell my writing students to keep an idea book with them of like words they hear, interesting phrases or things that like draw their attention, their feelings that they have. So then they always have this like parking lot of resources that they can pull from. And that's what I do. So like when I think of something, I just like put it in my idea book. Um, And then I like just kind of toy around with like what the sentiment is, what the words are, move them around. Um, But then like I'll sit and go and burst. Like I'm a total like I was a business undergrad. I've got a lot of students that come to me when they're like, I want to start a business. And I'm like, do these things. And I like do them all wrong. I'm like, (laughs) release, (laughs) you know, like seize it, like release groups of cards. And I'm just like, no, these are fun. I'm going to add them to the line. (laughs) But uh, I'm also very honest, clearly. Um, But I just feel like everything that I write is an extension of me of like something that I would say or um, something that I've thought or like something that someone would say to me um, because I feel like that's one thing that's like very true to my brand is that it really is an extension of me. And so like the biggest compliment is, is when people read my cards and they're like, this is you on paper. Um, and like the brightness is like excessive. Like my personality is a little excessive. <laughs> I call myself high energy. It's fine. Yeah. Um, and but then cool. I make all the cards. Oh, yeah. sorry. You do, right? You make them yeah. all. Right? So they're all foil fused. Um, I sit in my little BSPHQ is what I call it. And I print them and foil them and package them. Um, so each one is handcrafted. And that is like, as an Enneagram three, it's like the small success of when I like pull the foil off and it's perfect. It's like, ooh, small success. Ooh, small success. <laughs> so Very therapeutic in a way, right? Right. It is. And it's like good to do stuff with your hands. You know, you know that like to be making and creating. And, um, it's just such a great break from life. You know, I can just sit down and listen to my Christmas music all year round and nobody (laughs) can say anything. (laughs) I love it. No, I resonate with that completely. And I, I think like, uh, I, I struggle sometimes with the, like, just wanting to do the manual things where I have so many other things to do. And I'm like, no, I just want to sit here and do this. I just want to pour candles and not talk to answer any of my emails or <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. All of the like background stuff is not as fun. It's not as fun. How do you feel like you have grown? Cause you're in some stores. Like, yeah. Talk about your growth a little bit. So yeah, um, I'm in a handful of shops, which has just been really nice because it's all kind of happened organically. Um, and then I've slowly started to add new things. Okay. So I added notebooks and then I added pins and then stickers. Um, and I just recently launched t-shirts and I was very scared to do that. You're um, scared with every launch. I know. I'm just, I I'm maybe just like a scared person. I don't no, know. I wouldn't describe you that way, but you probably like, I think you understand the like levity of launching something and what goes into it. And yeah. Yeah. And it's, oh. it's hard too, because I teach advertising, right? So, and I worked at agencies um, and I worked in house. And so it's like, I know that these are the right way to do things. Yeah. And I don't always have those skills, right? Like I'm not a photographer. I'm yeah. not a designer. I'm not like, so I'm like, I, I want it to look like this yeah. and it, yeah. looks like this but it's good enough right oh, so well, that's like with a limited budget you're like I can't I'm not that would be my all my budget to like try and like hire a photographer to do this so I'll just snap it myself yeah I totally get that deeply so it's just like okay well we're gonna do this and I've got some other things maybe in mind uh, some other bright sparkly fun things Ooh. um that are just like not paper related, but still making. So it's kind of like, it's just going to be like a Kelly Britton lifestyle brand. Like everything that she loves, (laughs) this is what it's going to be. Yeah. I don't know. Everything you do is so good. So I'm sure that whatever your next adventure is in bright spots, it's going to be great. Speaking of, we're going to make your candle. And I thought that this like, it's really cute, right? That's so cute. It's, it does it. Do you read it backwards? It's no, so I didn't read it right. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. 
It's like, I can't tell if it's backwards or not, but it's, um, I, I love it. I think it's, and I also think it's like really perfect. It's uh, for right now, for everything that's happening. And I just feel like as a small business, I'm sure you're feeling this too. Like the whole world just feels different right now. Like Christmas doesn't even quite feel like the way it usually does around the holidays. We're super busy, but then also like, I was just having a conversation with somebody about like how to forecast for 2021. You're like, I just started laughing. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> no yeah. Idea. I looked at 2020 goals and I was like, well. Same. Those were fun. <laughs> Go to trade shows. All those got canceled. Ours yep. were like, do more events. Of course that's not happening. <laughs> I'm like, even like, you know, we're uh, working with Love the Locals right now and it's really beautiful and we've got all these pop-ups happening, but then we're also like, well, if it rains, we can't bring all those people inside. We need to be like honorable. And so it's like, I feel like everything you even plan right now, it's like you have to replan, even if you're being careful. And so it's, it's been a, it's good because we're going to learn so much from all of this. And I think appreciate things. Right. This candle has brought me a lot of like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay to sometimes be like, I don't, I don't like right now. And that's okay. Yeah. And that's fine. Just, yeah, it's, I, and I feel like that's one thing I really try is like, everything just needs to be real and honest. Yeah. You know, with all that I do, because it's like, sometimes we just don't see enough of that. Everything's flower coated, right? Sugar coated. Yeah. Um, I hope you always say flower coated. I know. I'm like, that's my new thing. But I'm in my brain. I'm like, is it F-L-O-U-R or F-L-O-U-R? Oh, to go with your background. Yes, yes. Yes. I want that to be a card now. Flower coated. And you'll oh. be the only one that gets it. I love it. Okay. That sounds great. I'll just buy tons of them. Oh, well, I mixed up a little bit of oil already and I've pre, I did like a little like uh, bright spots blend here. So it's got a little bit of, we, you mentioned that you like firewood and kind of smoky. And I thought that actually would be really great for right now. It's like that fall transition into like fireplace. So it's got some smoky elements. It has some teak wood. So a little bit of that tobacco as well, which you love. I know. Um, I also, what else do I put in there? Oh, I, there's a little bit of vanilla. So it's going to give it a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. and then some amber because it's just that warmth and like you mentioned that you like like the kind of warm big powerful candles and I always think anything with amber gives it a little bit more like I don't know it's just sexy so it's yeah. a sexy smoky it's candle that's what we're making where we, and we don't have to feel brave so yeah. why um tell me why you love all those elements though because I loved everything you put on your list I just you feel like that. it's like candles just make you feel cozy, right? And you just like want to be cozy. And especially right now, like we can't go do anything else and we live at our houses. Yes. And so it's just like, these are all- out like this. Yeah, we're just Zooming, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so it, they just scream like cozy, put on my footy pajamas and yeah. just do some heavy sitting around my house, you know? <laughs> heavy sitting? <laughs> I'm not light to moderate. We're not in the phase of like moderate sitting. We're doing some heavy sitting right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love so much. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Absolutely. Take it. Oh. Okay, so speaking of like the holidays and stuff, like what, what, how are you, how can we support you? Where, where can we find you? What are ways that we can make sure that we have a lot of bright spots under our tree? Um, well, follow on Instagram and Facebook. Obviously, that's where yep. I post all my, yeah, like pop up. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but that doesn't happen at all we just point at things but nothing happens right <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> okay <laughs> so so um, and then brightspotspaper.com is my online shop so okay. that's where you can find cards notebooks yeah. um pins t-shirts while they last um postcards packs of cards um holiday cards are all up and so, you know, a lot of my stuff is really just about like celebrating the every day. So, you know, you can get yourself some cards and then send them out throughout the year. Um, because I don't think that greeting cards should be specific, you know, like let's celebrate each other to celebrate each other. Um, and we don't get a lot of good mail, you know, it's all bills yeah. and junk mail. So, um, you know, surprise somebody and be a bright spot in their day. I love that. I love that you always say that too. Like you shouldn't just send somebody a card because it's their birthday. Like mm -hmm. uh, my go-to has been like tucking one of your stickers into a card and then just sending it and being like, I am thinking of you and I love you. And I, 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 yeah, like, I feel like that's such a like nice way to be like, I miss you. 
Yeah, just a, I always call it like a paper hug in the mail. Oh, it's I like, love that. <laughs> real hug right now too. Yeah. It just feels, feels better. Feels yeah. good. I totally agree. A paper hug in the mail. I love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And speaking of in the mail, we will sell these and ship them in the mail. And for you, we're going to make a whole batch of them. I'll send you yours. And then um, the proceeds will go to the Lincoln Food Bank. Um, yeah. this is My cool. dear friend works there and like listening to her stories. Um, and she like, I don't think has had a day off. Since oh, they are. And they like. just need the support that we can give um, because it's, we all need it, right? Oh yeah. They just do so much good for our community. And it's like, I, I, like, I don't even think we quite realize like the extent that they support. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Cause I agree. And, and even just like hearing some of the ways that like the more that I've done research and like the, the ways that they reach out, it's more than just like a soup kitchen. Obviously it's like the way that they help all of the schools, the students, like there's just so much. And then it seems to have been like amped up even more with everything that's happening. And so yeah. Right. Yeah. The need in our community is certainly growing. Yeah. You know, it's not diminishing. Um, and they like just continuously step up to the plate. So it's awesome to see. It's yeah. awesome to see. So it's awesome yeah. that you're continuously creating an opportunity for us to support them. Oh, thanks for doing it with me. Thanks for collaborating so that we can. Yeah. yeah. Really beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I've been looking forward to this all week. Thank you so much for jumping on and thanks for sharing your story. It's super inspiring. I love that it's a side hustle. I love that you love your career and that you also love this. And I think that's also like a really beautiful place to be and a good story to tell. And you do it so well. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And thank you for having me. I was like, I said, the email I was like, oh my God, I've made it. Like I'm all distance. I'm done. <laughs> like, oh I've accomplished everything yes. on my 2020 goals. No, but I'm going to write it in. Yeah. 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 Put it in. I'll put it in mine too. Hang out with Kelly on the zoomies. <laughs> oh my gosh. I heart you. Okay. You're so I'll great. get this in the mail soon. Thanks so much for jumping on. This was fun. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. You're good for my soul. Same. Right back at you. Okay. All right. Well, have the best day. You too. Okay. Bye girl. Oh my goodness. I love that girl. Well, you can shop all of her sassy cards, her paper goods, her stickers um, on her really cute website. She always like downplays what a genius she is in Makerland, but honestly, her website is beautiful. Her photos are beautiful. All of her products are beautiful. <laughs> um, and I just love their sassy nature. And of course, I'm super into this candle that it's okay to not be brave all the time. It's been really good for my soul. Um, I made myself one <laughs> immediately when she sent me all of the stickers and I'm excited to make these for you. Of course, they'll go up on our site and all of the proceeds will go to the Lincoln Food Bank per usual. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.